What's going on everybody? It's your girl Chanel Stevens and I'm back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how I made my first $100,000. But before I do that, please like this video. Show this video some love. I'm going to just keep trying to stay consistent for you guys. So hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Comment down below. Show some love. You can drop an emoji. Whatever you want to do, man. Show this channel some love because I need YouTube to push this video to more people. We over here trying to get people to reach their first $100,000 online so if that's you and you somebody you ready to hit six figures you may be working a nine to five and you see a better way for yourself especially through cpa market or something like that like i'm telling you this channel i got you like i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna make sure that that's what you can do right because if it can happen for me it can happen for you before i even got into cpa though that's what i really want to talk about M my first first venture with t business really making money without a job was through network marketing, which is AKA MLM. All right, so I basically made my first 1500 bucks and I wouldn't even call this really online. This was really offline, but it was still like a business venture. I made 1500 bucks. You had to enroll two people, right? If you enroll two people, they get you a $1,500 bonus. So somebody introduced me to it. They told me, hey, if you get two people right now, you'll earn 1500 bucks. I thought it sounded like a good idea. I enrolled uh, two people. I made 1500 bucks, right? And what happened was my car had just broke down. So literally they sent me like a debit card with the money loaded on it. And my car had broke down and I was literally gonna go broke trying to pay for my car. And what happened was MLM came in clutch. So guys, this like, it stuck with me and, and it'll always have a special place in my heart even though I don't do MLM to this day. But seeing how it really was, you can make money outside of a job and a lot of money, stuff that your job can barely help you with like 1500 bucks just, just for enrolling two people. That was so easy. I did that in like, literally 24, 48 hours, right? So I, like that was just the start where I kind of saw the vision of, man, I can really do something. And I remember telling one of my first mentors in my network marketing company, and I told him, I was like, man, I want to make $50,000 a month. He was like, so what are your goals? What are your goals? He was asking everybody what our goals was. And I had big goals. Like before I even knew, I didn't know nothing about CB. I didn't know nothing about marketing at all. All I knew was a network marketing company. I didn't even know about business until literally I learned about network marketing. And he was like, basically, it's a lofty goal, man. It's a lofty goal. And here I am today after hitting that 50 K a month and stuff like that. It's crazy. My humble beginnings. But from there, I launched a, a eBay store. So I always had like a little eBay hustle, but I would just sell things like around the house and stuff like that. And it wasn't until I discovered AliExpress and how you can get basically products manufactured in China and you can basically earn money like that way, or you can buy products for like wholesale prices in China and, and put it on eBay and make money that way. So that's what I was doing. I, I want to say I made my first 50k doing that and that was how i was able to get ad budget and have money to be able to run ads because i know a lot of you guys hear me say in my story i quit my job i quit my job yes i did quit my job and i quit my job because i knew other avenues and revenues i knew how to build websites i was always practicing like how to build websites and setting up wordpress sites and stuff like that and running stores e-commerce type thing where ebay really i didn't really know about etsy or amazon at the time and I just remember finding AliExpress and, and that being a game changer for me, guys. So for anybody out there who you may not have no ad budget, that's a great place for you to start. You should start somewhere at like eBay or Etsy or Amazon where you can manufacture your own products, get products manufactured in China. I don't too much use uh, AliExpress right now, a little bit, Alibaba mostly, but from there, like basically, that, to me, that's the simplest business, all right? That's, that's even simpler and easier than CPA because a, a lot of people wouldn't say that, but I'll go ahead and say it, I'll say it. See, uh, e if you can't become successful at an eBay business, then you pretty much just cancel doing anything online because eBay is just the, the easiest thing that you could possibly do. It was one of, one of the first ways I was able to make money, like some serious money, like literally my first 1K day was with eBay. So I know I had a, my first 1K day with CPA marketing, but I had already was seeing like a 1K day, like with eBay and stuff like that. So that was where I got some success, but I took that money and I knew about CPA marketing. You know, I knew about making pages and stuff. So I would always just dabble in marketing and um you know i told you i used to post in groups and post on craigslist um that was like my first kind of success with cpa marketing was posting on craigslist but it was a black hat method okay so i made probably 20 30 grand through black hat methods of posting and posting and spamming basically i was a i was a spammer <laughs> all right and um yeah so humble 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 beginnings uh when it comes to this industry I'm not just, I'm self-taught. Everything is just 
courses, YouTube, and just trying stuff, experimenting. And um, yeah, and the Craigslist, it was, it was one of those things where I was just experimenting and it worked. Yeah, I was able to pull in probably at max $120, $140 a day. Um, no more than that, and that's why I ended up venturing into paid advertising because the, 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 the posting in, on Craigslist, it wasn't cutting it. I took the money from you know eBay, posting on Craigslist, and I took that and I started running Facebook ads, all right? And as many of you know, that follow my channel or been following my channel, I wasn't fly by night with Facebook ads. Like I said, I set up numerous, numerous campaigns before I saw my first successful profitable campaign that was an actual winner and generated uh, money for me. But yeah, it was, I wanted to say it was a, my first paid advertising offer was a real estate offer. So like a real estate ebook. So they would enter their email and get an ebook. And it was crazy because the lander that I found for it, it's probably the guy who probably landed it. He, he probably still watches my video. I don't know because I know he did some of my methods with Facebook ads and he became successful because he was one of the first people to kind of know, but I was kind of newbie to the industry and he hit me up like you're running my lander, but I had basically swiped his lander. I found it on Twitter and I swiped his lander, right? And <laughs> It, it was funny because I was running it crazy on Facebook and he's like, you got, you, you took my lander from Twitter. It was a good idea. Is it working? And I, you know, I'm thinking he's like a CPA marketing guy. I'm not thinking, oh, he, he just going to copy me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I ended up telling him stuff, showing him some stats. Next thing you know, the, the next week I had competition, but that's why really a lot of you guys, you want like just the insights and stuff, but it's kind of like this industry is really hush hush. And that's why you don't see so many affiliates out there exposing stuff because uh, a lot of people just copycats and just want to take what you got um, that's already winning and kind of, you know, just go off of there. So you got to kind of be low key with how you move in. So just be wary of that. And that's just for any future affiliates out there. But yeah, I took a lander off Twitter and, and I, I put it on Facebook ads and I, I didn't even want to link it at first. Like I told everybody it was a, uh, it was a text campaign. I, I had, I had everybody go to a number like, so text a number like, text info to 55328 or something like that. And they would text that number and they'll get an automated message that would send them the link. And um, that was one of my first successful funnels that made me like another 50K from there. And then, uh, you know, I started testing more offers and actually posting links and stuff like that. And um, this was in the BizOp niche. So yeah, BizOp, so it was like a real estate ebook from there, survey type offers, you know, just make money offers. From there, I started crushing it in the uh, loan niche, and that's what got me to my first $100,000 month. All right, guys, so that's pretty much my story from to $100,000 to $100,000 months. Um, it was a gradual process. It was definitely humble beginnings from just trying stuff and experimenting. I hope you can learn something from my story and my journey that can help you and realize no matter where you're at, like, just look at it as humble beginnings. Look at it as something where it's just the start. It's just the beginning. I don't care how old you are. I don't care where you're at in life. You can turn it around today, all right? I mean that from the bottom of my heart, all right? So like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, man. Check out another video on the channel. I got tons of value. I just dropped some tutorials and stuff like that. Um, if you need any help with your campaigns or anything like that, I'm offering private coaching. It's open as of now. Uh, don't know how long I'm keeping it open, but it's open right now. So jump in that. Uh, if you're looking for that extra push, but uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.